Hey YouTube, this is Pamela and this is Craft and Commentary. And uh, I have a new journal. Um, I was inspired uh, to make this by actually by the notebook itself. Um, this is, um, I got a thing for square. I love square. And uh, this is actually a photo album. Um, but uh, I like the square and I liked all of the nice clean plastic involved here. So this is very tough plastic here. And, and as you can kind of see, this, these are plastic sleeves. And as everybody may know who follows my channel, um, I'm very much into um, gel plate printing and I make my own gel plate. Let me kind of quickly show you um, what a homemade jelly plate looks like. This one is just out of the refrigerator. And let me just take a look. Let me just grab this thing. It's so beautiful. I love it. Nice and thick. Okay. And um, I can use this uh, as a quote unquote G E L L I jelly plate. Now if you want to see a bunch of tutorials, go to Jelly Arts on YouTube for many. I highly recommend buying the commercial version of the gel plate. Um, I make my own, so uh, I can have any size that I want. Uh, these are all eight by eight inches. And I'm gonna do a flip and I'm really thrilled. I want to show um, that with the gel plate, if you're not familiar with it, please go to Jelly Arts YouTube channel for literally 50 to 80 um, tutorials on that. Uh, for now, I want to show you the textures that I used on the, this particular uh, art journal. And um, these are these cheap little plastic uh, texture plates, impression plates. I don't know what you want to call them, but I got a whole bunch of them all in the flower motif. Here are just a few. This is not all that I use in this um, art journal. Um, I also use uh, these silicone pot holder trivets. This one I really like the, the impression that this makes, and you'll see that in a moment. And um, here's another that I used for this particular project, uh, among others. So, um, the first one I think is one of the prettiest, so I have that as the first. And uh, I tried to put these in this uh, journal in a nice sequence. The sequence, part of what's going on here is the sequence and the two that are side by side um, as a spread. Um, again, you can see the um, flower impression plates that I used. This is a little more subtle. I like the colors. Okay. It's kind of subtle there, so let's see the subtleties going on. I'll have to look that up. Okay, uh, moving on. Just want to quickly get through this. Almost everything here is a flower motif. This is just simplicity incarnate um, with just one color on black construction paper. This has sort of an industrial look. I really liked it a lot. Using that trivet that I just showed you, the blue trivet. Okay, more flowers. And this one is just amazing. Um, I used here some scrapers. I think that's what I used for that. Um, this one is a flower motif, but it's just on fire. Interesting colors. That's the beauty of the gel plate printing, is that, <laughs> you know, for someone like me, who's, I don't consider myself, you know, a brilliant artist or anything, but um, I do, when I see a, um, a technique that 
is, um, this is the one that's two color, I'm getting confused. This is just, actually just one color, the blue and the black construction paper. And this one was a, um, just a scraper that I twisted slightly. <laughs> it was just so amazing that it just, as I'm alluding to, I'm saying that that with this technique, you, know, you never know what you're going to get. You know, I, I consider a real artist who like knows what they want and then executes that, executes it, you know. They know what I want ahead of time. I never know what I want ahead of time. And um, if I were more talented, I would, I guess, but I don't. So what's the beauty of the gel plate is that uh, you don't know what you're going to get. And sometimes it's not so great, but other times it's just really fantastic. So let's just continue with this awesome flip here. Uh, again, I have these in plastic sleeves, so I had to get just the right light so we don't have any glare. Um, but here you can see right here is that impression and uh, some of these flowers. And just a couple colors. I never like to get too crazy with too many colors. I possibly could have put another color down here. This is a just a mono color. And um, this is a little bit possibly on the simple side. You know, sometimes when you get too busy, then you ruin your art. You get too many layers, too many colors. Um, I believe it gets ruined. So this is just, uh, there's nothing here that is, uh, you know, this is not in the realm of, you know, uh, virtuoso, but um, it is nice. And this kind of painting is not only enjoyable to do, but hopefully enjoyable to look at later. Here's a scraper. And this is just uh, top of a pencil eraser I used for that. With gel plate, it's all about impressions that you make on the very thin layer of, um, of paint that you put down on that, what I showed you before, that um, gel plate. Actually, I don't need this anymore. But as you can see, <laughs> this was photo safe, they say. So, thank you for watching, um, thumbs up, and uh, tell your friends, and I love to hear comments, thanks for watching.